My dad used to take me fishing in the mornings before school, so we'd wake up super early and just go worm dunking off the uh, causeways at the lake or whatever. You know, early morning before school and just really cherish that time and um, I guess wanted to carry that through. So who I am, I'm Harry Desmond with Berkshire Rivers Fly Fishing in Western Massachusetts. Primarily fish Western Mass, Northwest Connecticut, Southern Vermont, as well as a lot of New York. Um, primarily target trout and Northern Pike. And the river that I most call home is the Housatonic. kind of a trout snob for years and then tried the pike um, about six or seven years ago and was hooked after the first time trying it. It's a different whole approach to the water um, rather than um, trying to figure out what the fish are eating so much. This is more, to me, it's more of a hunting game. You're really, you're chasing this apex predator and you're, you're trying to find where they are. It takes time and patience and the reward is huge. We'll see. We'll see you a flash or a miss if they're coming for it. Okay, so I'll focus it down here now, but... But, you know, they, because they're such predators, they like to hide in some of that more minuscule stuff. It's a lot of adrenaline, you know, so I'll, I'm in it for that. There we go! So the technique for northern pike is, you know, heavy weighted lines, heavy flies, and really trying to find water that is non-moving. A lot of the water that, you know, most people are looking for are runs or rips and, and moving water. Where here it's a lot different, it's a lot of slack water. So finding slack water, trying to think like a predator, like where would you park yourself in this water, chasing a bait fish of some sort or something like that, and trying to present it the right way. You know, the Northerns, they really start to feed pretty heavily in the fall. Um, they're trying to fatten up and put on some weight for the winter. So you, you can throw some really big flies and you can get some um, fantastic fish and they can eat pretty ferociously. Uh, their metabolism slows down and you know, you have to strip a little bit slower to get them to eat. And then as the day warms up, you know, you can strip faster and they will, they will chase it down. So um, the, fall, the fall is the time for the big bunny. Yeah! Wow! What a fish! Man. Wow, that's a fish, man. But they can be temperamental, you know, they're, they're tough to find. You can have days where you're chasing them all day for that one, that one look and that one bite. And uh, other days it lights up, so... Um, Housatonic, awesome fishery for, for Northerns. I always tell people when they're on my boat, they always ask me, wow, why are you with Douglas or why are you doing this and whatnot? And I mean, A, yes, I love the products, but if I ever have questions or I need a rod replaced or anything, I mean, it's a two, three day turnaround and I have a replacement rod or piece or whatever I need. So a lot of it's the customer service and the people behind it. Cool. Joe, you got anything you want to throw in there? Okay. Joe's the only guy I know that can take his hat off and his hair is like perfectly normal. <laughs> Not normal right now. What, oh, no, this isn't normal? <laughs> Sweet. Cool.